Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today I got another unboxing. Well, not so much an unboxing, just a mail call from Nucadia again. So let's get into it, see what happens. You know, last time was okay. This time is a small one. It's been sitting here for a little while. Hopefully here in South Florida, it's, <laughs> it's a stormy season. So hopefully we're a little bit uh, lucky that it's not going to start thundering because we can hear it shake the whole place and that's not good. So first things first, let's get this all opened. Get this out of the way. And we have two receipts because I made two separate orders over a weekend and they were sent out together. So what do we have here? Oh, I didn't introduce this last time. I know Chris from Journos has Red Deadly and Purple Deadly. I have my own little toy, nice and compact. I can just flip it out anytime. And it's very, very sharp. So I don't have to worry about slicing any of my fingers off. So first we have Infinite Crisis number four. Infinite Crisis number four. And this is the first meeting of Jaime Reyes and Booster Gold in Justice League, I believe it is. Uh, what did I pay for this? This one I paid, I don't know, $3 it looks like. It says that it's near mint minus, that it's only got a slight bend. It looks pretty straight to me. Very nice and shiny. Corners are really nice. Very, very clean cover. Uh, smells like a, you know, 1990s comic book or uh, baseball cards actually. So. Okay, uh, apparently there was a problem with the light. So that's why you see this weird little transition. Um, but as I was saying with Infinite Crisis number four, first meeting of Jaime Reyes and Booster Gold. This is everything it is for $3 or whatever the calculation came down to. Very happy with that. Next one up is Ultimate Fantastic Four number 30. This is the first cover appearance of the Marvel Zombies. This one says it's a near mint copy and I paid $5.21. So if it's near mint, I have no complaints because that's what we like. All right, so uh, first glance, nope, not near mint. If you can see, don't know if you can see right here by the four, there's a crease. Uh, the back is kind of creased. I don't know, well, you can probably see here. Yeah, now you can see all those creases throughout the back. Um, none of those seem to be color breaking, but still, you say that something is near mint and that there's, you know, covers flat, you know, no tears or no folds or creases or anything. Yeah, um, the good thing is it doesn't look like the spine ticks uh, break any color. The interior pages are very clean. Um, Otherwise, yeah, it's a nice clean copy, it reflects color bright, you know, nice and brightly. Uh, for $5, okay, I could live with that. And the last book in this order was a Superman Batman number 22. This is, well, they have a price of a dollar on there. Um, I did not pay a dollar. I actually, oops, I paid $3.13, so pretty close. Um, this is, for the life of me, I can't remember, um, something to do with the first cameo of Batman Beyond in comic books, I believe, or maybe this is the Tim Drake as Batman Beyond. 
Um, but this one they say is a near mint copy and looking at it again I don't know if you'd be able to see up oh, there there's the angle you can see here and here there's a couple of ticks and on the back yeah you can see on the spine there we go this angle tilting you can see a couple of spine ticks over there um, these actually do look like they're color breaking and there's a, it's a little scuffy so again near mint not so much uh, interior pages covers are sh you know corners are sharp um, colors very nice the cover itself is nice and shiny reflects and actually probably can't see there's a large looks like a subscription crease but it's like diagonal um, how can I don't know if we oh, there you go right in the middle of the page you can see right through Superman right at this angle you could see the crease um, you know this is this is the problem when you know you're buying from a store and they're not going to put scans of every five ten dollar book um, on the website and you have to trust that their graders are you know as they call them professional graders and that they're going to be accurate um, unfortunately you know what they call your know, near mint to me isn't near mint but for the price i paid the way i the way i go about it is i always take whatever their grades are and i drop it down and i say okay so if they're calling it near mint i'm thinking it's gonna be a near mint minus so it's not gonna be as disappointing if there's a problem with the books because in my mind i'm already thinking i'm discounting the grade so I'm not paying for a near mint, I'm paying for a near mint minus. And, you know, what, what, what can you do in those cases? But again, little three book order, um, you know, nothing major, just a little bit of spec. Uh, sounds like somebody just dropped something at my front door. Uh, so hopefully, um, whatever that was isn't broken. Um, it's not books. I don't have any books coming in until the end of the week. So that's a good thing. Um, but thanks for watching and I will see you next time.